All right, YouTube, today we're gonna dispel some myths about SHTF combat, man, without rule of law, loadout, Minuteman, militia, all the buzzwords. Mm-hmm. Condors, airsoft gear. Yep, really is. If by airsoft gear you mean not, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go across the creek. Remember, shooting is a perishable skill, so you should do shooting occasionally you should do that it's good for you tell your wife listen listen honey bear said I had to I gotta go uh, also or tell your husband listen babe bear said I had to go also keep these around tourniquets save lives anytime you're going to uh, throw rounds down range have the appropriate medical with you I have I fact I'm a plate carrier here can he do the buckle sure can I fact. Hey, pause. If I ever need blood, just remember, he's a POS. Okay. And uh, turn and get in the whole nine. So we're going to go do the pew pew things and then uh, we'll do a recap. All right, lessons learned. Uh, number one, it's cold out here. It's uh, about 24 degrees or so. Is uh, a boonie hat, is the sun hat the best hat for the job? No, but it is like totally tactical. Um, also, you know, bear sized men, sometimes we need a little ventilation up top. It's cold. It was snowing here earlier today. Um, it's not currently snowing, as you may have noticed, nor did the snow stick. But it was snowing here, and uh, they're supposed to be isolators, so it's below freezing. Should you go use your stuff when it's cold outside? Uh-huh. Interferences. 
Now also, I'm only wearing a hoodie. Like this is just a hoodie on underneath this is a t-shirt. It's windy right now. I should probably, if I was gonna be out here for an extended period of time, have a different hat on to keep these lovely ears covered so they don't freeze and fall off. And uh, have some type of wind break, like maybe that awesome uh, Patagonia jacket that my brother sent me. Thank you, appreciate that, it's awesome. Uh, so forth and so on, something to cut that wind, okay? Um, what about uh, equipment? Yeah, you should go use your gear, okay? It's, uh, it's great that you have it. It doesn't matter if you don't use it. Now, I hear a few different things constantly, three different things we're gonna focus on. One, Condor's Airsoft gear. Two, cheap rifles, I wouldn't bet my life on them. Three, you don't need that many magazines. Now, you're gonna see, I just went through three 30-round mags, 30-round P mags, Gen 2 slash Gen 3. I don't care. I don't care. Freaking PSA gives them away. They give away Gen 2 Max, right? Like, anytime I need to buy anything, uh, I look at uh, Palmetto Stead Armory because you're basically paying retail, plus they give you anywhere between 5 and 10 free mags for buying from them. So, yeah, get your mags, right? But I just went through three mags, which is, there's a lot of... I mean, and this even comes out of the special operations community that if we're going to Mozambique drill, right, two to the chest, one to the head, I can Mozambique drill 30 guys before I need a reload, right? So I've got three on my chest plus one in the gun. I actually Mozambique drill 40 guys before I'm out, right? And then I can yell at my buddy and he can toss me a mag. Mm -hmm. The thing with that, though, is resupply. There is no resupply, okay? So for guerrilla tactics, militia tactics, the Minuteman loadout, there is no resupply. And I've caught in a lot of crap from some people for not having enough mags and a lot of crap from other people for having too many mags. Here's the deal, okay? I have, generally speaking, six on my plate carrier, two in my day pack back here that's mollied onto my plate carrier, and that is the Condor HCB. Two, okay? Hilo, Charlie, Bravo, two. I get that question constantly. Hilo, Charlie, Bravo, two. HCB, two. Condor Day Pack. Yes, it mollies on. See it? Yeah, it's back there. Okay, so two mags back there, six up front is eight, plus two in my war belt. War belt is 10, plus one in the gun makes 11. So I carry 330 rounds of ammo. To say nothing of what's in my ruck or elsewhere, okay? I also run six on my chest rig, so, so forth, so on. 11 mags, 330 rounds. You can burn three mags real quick. Real quick, real quick, okay? Be conscious of that. So, I've said for a long time, I'm not a big fan of the super slick, high-speed plate carriers that, you know, the minimalist setup of three mags and an IFAC, that's cool. Should you have an IFAC? Yeah. Should you be strapping all kinds of crap on here you don't need? No, absolutely not. But, but ammo <laughs> is definitely something you need. So I, I say at least 10 mags plus one in the gun for me. Now I'm a bear sized man. So my wife is not going to carry 10 plus one. Okay. My wife carries six plus one. There are little tiny people out there. Hello, my vegan yoga friend. Yes, I see you standing up and down, jumping and waving your hands. We have all types of this channel and I love it. You need to run three plus one because you weigh only 40% more than your entire loadout. That's a problem. Okay. So you three plus one makes sense. But for me, and see, you need to have friends that can carry 10 plus one with you while you're operating. Operate. Do you even operate, bro? Chill out, man. Chill. This is the internet, okay? I love it how guys are like issuing credos on how to properly operate in the real world from their armchair in front of their TV or their, <laughs> you know, their iPhone while they're lounging on their chaise lounge. Like, yeah, I get it, okay? I get it. Chill. So the first thing is how many mags? Why do I run 10 plus one? That's why, because I can burn three real quick. And if there's only a few of us, we're gonna burn a lot of ammo, okay? Even just breaking contact. If we're running a break contact drill, I could dump three mags just breaking contact. Now, if I'm hitting a target, right? And if we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do some things inside of a house or a building or whatever, maybe I only need three mags. 
but I don't like the maybes when it comes to how much ammo, okay? So that's the first thing, how many mags. Next thing, is Condor Airsoft gear? Now, I recently, on the Patreon giveaway, um, the February Patreon giveaway, I asked people to answer the question, why is Condor Airsoft gear? Because I, I wanted to see the comments. I wanted to laugh. Uh, Condor may have been at one time airsoft gear, okay? And it is not currently. It is not Everly Stock. It is not Tactical Tailor. It is not HSGI, okay? It's not Sojourn gear. It's not that. It's not. <laughs> Chemtrail loogies. It's not those things. It's also not bargain basement junk. If it was, I wouldn't run it and I wouldn't tell you to run it either. And there are a lot of people who have an entire $1,500, $2,000 setup of Tactical Tailor who have never gotten it dirty. Never, not once. I've been running this, this plate carrier, and by running, I mean running, actually doing things in it, including rucking uh, two to three times a week in this setup, plus taking it on range days, plus taking it on FTXs, plus doing things in it for at least four years. I have no issues, okay? Same thing with my chest rig. I've had it for three years, going on four years maybe. I use it regularly. I've had no issues. I've had one failure on Condor and it was a belt buckle. And I emailed him and I was like, dude, what's up with this bull honky? And I said, oh, new one be in mail very soon. And I said, thank you, that's tremendous. Okay, so, and it was in the mail very soon. No more problems. And I tell people that regularly, okay? It's a non-issue, non-issue. So, is Condor Airsoft gear? Maybe Airsofters run it. Should you bet your life on it? Listen, man, if you can't afford HSGI gear or Tactical Tailor or Cry Precision or Sojourn gear or uh, Everly Stock or anybody else, yeah, get you some Condor. Use it as a stepping stone if you like. Okay, but I've had that one issue, that belt buckle, it's the only issue I've ever had, okay? And I find it really interesting, really interesting, that people who don't use their gear would weigh in on the gear selection of others as if they have a platform to speak from. One of my new favorite sayings in the comments is, cool story bro, shoot a video on that. Because I love, love the armchair warriors, man. You're wrong because, show me, show me why, why I'm wrong. I want to see it. I want to see it. In the meanwhile, go do. This means nothing. Anybody can flap their gums on the internet. Go do. Fact and non verba. Deeds, not words. Do. So is Condor Airsoft gear, if you play Airsoft in it. But, uh... This thing's carrying level four plates, has been for the last four years, non-issue, okay. Third, you need a Daniel Defense M forgery, man. You gotta have that. If it doesn't, if, it, if your rifle didn't cost you at least $3,000 and you had to cut the pinky off of your youngest child as a down payment on it, I would never bet my life on it. I make this point constantly. It's something we've talked a lot about at Patreon because we actually have a lot of AR-15 discussion there. I have the best hair these days. My wife is on point with this haircut. Get out of there, you little doobobble. Trying to operate on the internet. All right, I make this point regularly on Patreon. This is my wife's go-to rifle. This is a DPMS with a POS ProTech dot sight on it. Can you all even see through there? Can you see it? Can you see the dot? Probably, probably, yeah, there it is. See the dot, it's in my beard now. Okay. I am constantly hearing, that's a piece of crap rifle. You can't run that. That dot sight sucks. You can't do that. Listen, I bought this gun set up just like this from a friend and brother who worked at the shop with me. And I gave him, I think 500 bucks for it. And I think he had 550 into it or something like 600 bucks with the sight and uh, a few mags and so forth and so on. Nothing special. I mean, A2 birdcage on the end, UTG front sight, right? Magpul flip up rear sight. Do you run lower third uh, co-witness or true co-witness? Shut up, it doesn't matter. Pick one, 
whichever one you like, dude, that's the one you do. Doesn't matter what I do, it matters what you do. Get off your couch, go 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 do. That's what matters. What matters for you, what works for you is what matters. Not what matters for me, what works for me, it's what works for you, okay? So this rifle set me back five bills with three mags, with the case, with this POS dot sight, with all the things, five bills. I have since I bought it, this guy had less than a magazine through, I think he said he put 20 rounds through it. I have since then, I have cleaned this gun three times. It is a direct impingement. Look, see the gas tube right inside of there? See that little metal bar? That's actually a tube. And it takes gas from this gas block and it runs it all the way back here. Let's drop this mag, show safe. Okay, it runs all the way back here into the gas key, which is on top of this, which is the bolt. And up here is the bolt carrier group. And that gas poof, pushes this back and forth like this every time you pull the trigger. I've cleaned it three times. It's a cheap DI gun, mass produced direct impingement rifle. Cheap. This gun's been cleaned three times. It has over 4,000 rounds through it. 4,000. 4,000. 4,000 rounds through it. For those of you that are playing at home, that's about 10 ammo cans worth of ammo through this gun. How many failures have I had? I'm waiting. I've had two in this gun and they were both ammo related. Okay, this gun has never failed as far as the gun is concerned. It has always extracted. It has always gone bang when I pulled the trigger. It has always cycled as long as the ammunition that it was being fed did what it was supposed to do. It runs on brass. It runs on steel cased ammo. It, run, it just runs. It'll run 55s. It'll run 62s. It'll run 60 ballistic tips. It'll run the 75s. It'll run 77s. It, it'll run 69 grain. It doesn't care. It just runs. Would you bet your life to that? Yes. It's in a system here on property. Yes, I would. That's my point. So, if you own a Daniel Defense, awesome, high five, bro. If you own a DPMS, awesome, high five, bro. If you're gonna buy an AR-15, people ask me, the people, they ask me, it's tremendous. Believe me, believe me, we're gonna build at least 4% of this wall. Believe me, and Mexico, is probably maybe sorta of gonna pay for it. Now all the Trump people are like, ah, listen, I got nothing against him. I just think it's he's a really funny meme. So, do you support our president? Yeah, he's the president. Did you support Barack Obama? No, I hated his guts. Okay, let's let's move on. People ask me constantly, if I could buy one AR-15, what would I buy? Colt 6920, 6920, Colt, Colt, C-O-L-T, like a small horse, Colt. 6920. Yeah, I think it's just the best bang for the buck. But if all you have is 500 bucks, get your DPMS. Well, what kind of sling should I run? What should I have? What kind of light should I mount? What kind of weapon sights? What kind of. Get the gun. Zero it. Put sights on it. Okay? Okay. Go zero those iron sights. Okay. Next, worry about all the other things. But I love how people get wrapped up in third, fourth, fifth order of effects and they haven't done step one yet. Do step one, go. If all you can afford is a $500 rifle and iron sights, go buy it. If all you can afford is a Condor plate carrier for 70 bucks, go buy it, okay? Go, do. I would rather you bought this for 70 bucks and then you put plates in it and you did all the things, right? And you put magazine pouches on it and IFACs and the whole nine. Do all that. And then down the road, oh, you got a raise? Awesome, because you're killing it at work and you're a valuable human being, good. Go buy a tactical tailor and then and put this in a buddy kit. You know, you, you can only afford this rifle, awesome. You get a bonus at work because you're crushing it or you go out on yourself as an entrepreneur and you're like, hey man, the money's just rolling in. Go buy a whole bunch of 6920s. Go buy a, a freaking DPMS. Go buy a SCAR 17 308 semi-auto battle rifle effective range 1200 meters with the appropriate ammunition. I turn cover into concealment. Whatever, dude. Go buy your gun the one that you want, press this into a buddy kit, okay? But the point here is, go do.
go do. How many mags? More than three. Is Condor airsoft gear? No, not really. Not unless you're playing airsoft in it. Do I need an expensive rifle? No, you need a dependable rifle and a lot of the cheap rifles these days are also dependable. That's what you need. And then you improve from there. You know, it's like people, I, I have outshot people, and this is not an exaggeration, I have outshot semi-professional shooters, three gun shooters with their race guns, and I'm using a stock Glock, okay? Cuz, and I'm not the best shooter. You're gonna see the targets, you've probably already seen the targets, right? But I can shoot when I need to, I can hit, I can hit. That's what matters, I can hit. So, you can sit in your armchair and think about hitting, talk about hitting, theorize about hitting, or when it's 24 degrees out, you can put your gear on and go hit. Shalom.